Welcome back. Our next presenter has done Shakespeare. No, I'm, I mean in her last movie. She actually did Shakespeare. <laughs> and she, <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. It's okay, y'all will catch up. <laughs> she is the reason that Shakespeare fell in love. Please welcome Best Actress nominee and Sweet Kid, Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> To be or not to be, will there be candlelight or chandeliers, satin or velvet? Will the decor be cluttered or clean? Such decisions are the province of art directors who are responsible for the overall look of a film. This year, the nominees for Best Achievement in Art Direction are... In Elizabeth, the religious authority and the power of the throne are captured in striking art direction by John Meyer and the set decoration of Peter Howitt. In Pleasantville, a black and white world is transformed by color with the art direction of Janine Opawal and the set decoration of Jay Hart. In Saving Private Ryan, the destruction and devastation of World War II are portrayed most graphically by the art direction of Tom Sanders and the set decoration of Lisa Dean Cavanaugh. In Shakespeare in Love, the Elizabethan era of the Bard is recreated most affectionately by the art direction of Martin Childs and the set decoration of Jill Quartier. And in What Dreams May Come, the heavenly vision of life in the hereafter is majestically created by the art direction of Eugenio Zanetti and the set decoration of Cindy Carr. And the Oscar goes to... Martin Childs for Shakespeare in Love and for set decoration, Jill Cordier. This is the first Oscar for Martin Childs and Jill Cordier, whose combined credits include Mrs. Brown and Much Ado About Nothing. Oh boy, I made notes. Um, <laughs> this is an honor, isn't it? <laughs> uh, we had a lot of fun making this movie, and we'd love to thank the art department, Mark Raggett, Franny Bennett, Steve Lawrence, and all the other heroes, all the other Shakespeareos. Andy Evans and his brilliant team of craftsmen, uh, location manager Rachel Neal, Jill Ducker and Danny and Kevin and the Props Boys, uh, oh, Judy Dench for her wonderful news that the Rose Theatre will survive. The set is being rebuilt beam by beam, and it's going to last forever this time. Uh, oh, wrap up. Um, uh, uh, the asteroid's coming. Um, Elaine and Richard, Great Rex, John Madden, and the Academy for giving us this fantastic Thank theme. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Captain Picard of the Starship Enterprise, Mr. Patrick Stewart. This year, the tumultuous 16th century proved fertile ground for filmmakers, as evidenced by the first two of our five nominated films for Best Picture, Elizabeth and Shakespeare in Love. In the first, we witness the rise to power of the young woman who takes over a realm debilitated by years of religious strife and fashions it into the Western world's most powerful nation. It's an inspiring portrait of the first British sovereign named Elizabeth. And in the second of our nominated film, Shakespeare in Love, Queen Elizabeth is one of the young women Will Shakespeare tries to please. It's a, an uproarious tale of the Bard's quest to find his muse, end a paralyzing case of writer's block, and create a hit show. Here are Elizabeth and Shakespeare in Love. <laughs> 